On today's show, the Ford Motor Company is going to get rid of the Lincoln Continental, and the supplier company Continental is banning its employees from using certain social media. And wouldn't you know it, ride-sharing cars will come with vending machines. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. And we start out today with a bunch of news from Ford. It keeps making improvements to the Mustang and spinning off variants like the GT, the Shelby GT350, and the Bullet. But the next generation Mustang will not come out for another four years. Out of Forecast Solutions report it will go into production in March of 2022. The Mustang is built at Ford's assembly plant in Flat Rock, Michigan, and that's where the next generation of the Transit Connect will get built. But the new version will be an autonomous hybrid minivan that will be used for ride-sharing services that Ford will launch. Auto Forecast Solutions says it will go into production in August of 2021. Right now, the Lincoln Continental is also made at the Flat Rock plant, but as part of Ford's retreat from passenger sedans, it is getting the axe. It goes out of production only two years from now. Even though it hit the market less than two years ago, sales have been disappointing. Last month, sales plummeted 40%. They only sold 660 of them. And so far this year, fewer than 4,000 customers have bought a Lincoln Continental. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Next year, China is mandating that 10% of all vehicles sold in the country have to be plug-ins or electrics. In 2020, the mandate rises to 12% and keeps on ramping up after that. Automakers are scrambling to try and meet that mandate. General Motors, along with its joint venture partners, SAIC and Wuling, announced they will introduce 20 new energy models by 2023. Audi says it will locally produce five electrified vehicles by 2022. But not all automakers are jumping headfirst into the EV market. Smaller automakers like Subaru and Mazda are holding back. While Subaru of America will introduce a plug-in version of the Crosstrek, CEO Tom Dahl tells Bloomberg they're going to let other automakers develop the market for battery electrics before they jump in. Same with Mazda. It's going to rely on its spark-controlled compression ignition engine called Skyactiv-X, but it does have EV plans in the pipeline. And you may remember that Mazda, Toyota, and Denso all formed a new company that will focus on developing EVs. We've reported on Audi's Matrix LED headlamps in the past, and now lighting supplier Hella is showing off the latest generation. One cool new feature is predictive dimming. If a car puts on its turn signal to change lanes, the headlamps will black out the next lane over. There's also a segmented cornering light that can spread light out an additional 90 degrees in a turn. And the Matrix headlamps now feature a laser that can send out a much more intense beam much further within the LED lighting field. Hella shows how this could be used to light a curve in the road far ahead of the vehicle. Apple says its new iOS 12 software will let Apple CarPlay use third-party navigation apps. Previously, the only navigation software available with Apple CarPlay was Apple's own Apple Maps. But that's not what people want, so Apple will allow its users to use Google Maps or Waze. And you know, that's really something that Apple has to let Google into the house. Coming up next, I suppose it was inevitable, but ride-sharing cars will come with vending machines. Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. Employees at the supplier company Continental that use WhatsApp or Snapchat on the job better watch out. 
Continental is forbidding its employees from using these social media apps in its corporate computer network. It's all about cybersecurity. WhatsApp and Snapchat demand access to the personal data of users, which they then sell to third parties, and that could compromise company data. Continental says this is part of its Vision Zero for the future, where there will be no accidents on physical highways or on digital highways. However, Continental is willing to unban these apps if they ask users for permission to opt in before they start collecting data. Grab is the name of a ride-sharing service in Singapore, and it's going to let passengers buy snacks and other goodies in their cars. Grab announced a partnership with the New York-based company called Cargo, which will install vending machines in their cars. The drivers get a cut of all the snacks that their passengers buy, and there's already some big names selling through Cargo, like Coca-Cola and Kellogg. 1,000 drivers will be trying out Cargo's vending machines in Singapore this week before it moves on to other countries. And that wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching, and remember, we'll be back here tomorrow.